Good morning, everybody. It is uh, Saturday, June 11th at 7.20 in the morning. I've been up for a couple of hours. Um, I, in about 45 minutes, I start my one-on-one -on -one FaceTime and Skype with the club members who have signed up uh, for our for, <laughs> notate, notifications. Just love them. Um, but it's the... Uh, so i got a nice full day going here from about 8.15 to about 7.30 tonight. I really enjoy this this one. It's once a month, but uh, we get much deeper into our, our lives and, and we've all become pretty close. It's a really good bunch of people. But I want to get a little music in here before uh, I start my, my day. And uh, I was thinking about a, a, an artist who I've worked with a number of times, and, and I love playing with him. In fact, we just recently uh, did a recording together in support of uh, Ukraine with um, T-Bear and Tony Baranigal. Um, so a whole bunch of people involved in this thing. And it was nice that it all came out of Quarto Valley Records, which is the label the immediate family is signed with. I think Paul Rogers is singing on it too, but Lawrence uh, is involved in it. And I went over to his house and worked at his studio. So I'm gonna go visit a, an album that I worked on uh, with Lawrence Juber, uh, J-U-B-E-R, called PCH. Uh, we did this back in 2008. Um, it, it's got a real interesting um, bio, so I thought I'd read it rather than just grabbing little English notes. I mean, a <laughs> little simple notes about the Englishman. Uh, born in Stepney, East London, Juber was raised and went to school in North London. By his own account, he began playing guitar the week the single I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles was released. Beginning on a cheap acoustic guitar, he learned to read music early and the system of music notation. He began to earn money playing guitar at 13 and began studying classical guitar at 15. Enraptured by the sounds of records of the mid to late 60s, he set his sights on becoming a session guitarist in London music studios. While playing with the National Youth Jazz Orchestra, he earned his music degree at London University's Goldsmiths College, where he expanded his horizons by playing the lute. Upon graduation, he immediately began work as a session guitarist, working on his first project with former Beatles producer George Martin on an album for Cleo Lane. Amongst other studio work in 77, Juber was booked up by London-based orchestral contractor David Katz, along with session drummer uh, Peter Boita, Boita uh, to go to Paris for a week of recording at Barclay Records Studio to make an album with Charles Aznavour. I love Charles Aznavour. Sung entirely in French, the album Je n'ai pas vu le temps passé went on to become one of Aznavour's biggest selling French albums uh, of all time. Uh, uh, went on to become one of Aznavour's biggest selling French language albums of all time. Perhaps most famously, Juber played the James Bond theme for the movie The Spy Who Loved Me. Uh, Juber gave up a lucrative and successful studio career when invited to join the band Paul McCartney and Wings in 1978. Juber, Juber later said that uh, he agreed immediately because you don't turn that uh, down that kind of a job. He played on the band's Back to the Egg album in 79 as well as their subsequent UK tour. In 80, he garnered his first Grammy Award when Wings' track Rockestra Theme won Best Award for Best Rock Instrumental. Uh, he was miscredited as Lawrence Tuber <laughs> on the sleeve of Ringo Starr's album, Stop and Smell the Roses. Uh, from this period uh, dates his first solo album, Standard Time. Uh, McCartney and former Wings guitarist Denny Lane played on the track Maisie. Juber acknowledges that whilst, he, uh, that whilst he was a sideman with Wings, the role included considering himself as a member of the band. Uh, life after Wings. Uh, uh, after Wings disbanded in 1981, Juber moved to, Los, uh, to the United States. In New York City, he met his future wife, Hope, and soon moved to her native California. He subsequently resumed work as a studio musician, playing guitar on numerous television shows, including Happy Days, Family Ties, Home Improvement, and Seventh Heaven. He composed the music for A Very Brady Christmas, a World Gone Wild and a Little Sweetheart. He played guitar in Belinda Carlisle's Mad About You, Eric Carmen's Make Me Lose Control and Time of My Life, and She's Like the Wind from Dirty Dancing soundtrack. 
Juber co-composed uh, co the soundtrack of the award-winning video game Diablo III and crafted the score to Dateline NBC documentary Children of the Harvest. Uh, his music's also featured in the Ken Burns TV documentary The Tenth Inning. With his wife, Hope Juber, he has composed the scores to musical comedies, Gilligan's Island, the musical, a very Brady musical, and uh, it's The Housewives. Um, he's worked with Al Stewart on his projects. Uh, it goes on and on. I mean, he's really been at it. Um, it. It was kind of interesting doing all those other things where it ends up. Juber is married to former actress Hope Schwartz, whose father... Sherwood was the producer of Gilligan's Island and the Brady Bunch. Uh, she was a guest multiple times on the latter show. Um, let's see if there's any. Uh, there's all kinds of information, but Lawrence is an incredibly fine, fine musician. And uh, it's always an absolute treat to get to do a project with him. So I'm just going to play a couple of the tracks from that album and keep our fingers crossed that... <laughs> None, there's no weird powers that uh, are monitoring me right now. Uh, but on this one, it's my, it's myself and Russ Kunkel and Jim Cox. The three of us will be out with Lyle Lovett um, starting this coming Wednesday. Um, Lawrence uh, arranged, composed, uh, produced, and played all the guitars on this. Uh, Jimmy Hoyson engineered it. Paul Smith was the second engineer and Joe Gastwert mastered it, and we recorded this album at Capitol Records Studio B, which is now closed for, theoretically, for retrofitting, for earthquake for the next couple of years. But uh, it's, it, I really hope they do a job and reopen the studio and don't look at these two years and uh, end up, you know, the, 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 the overseeing company decides, oh, let's just forget about those studios and let's make it into condos or something because capital the history at capital records is so profound and it's still one of the finest studios um in the world period so here's hoping um so here's a song called castle walls this is lawrence juber album pch from 2008 here we go
is called Gardenia. This is just a nice way to start the day. And I got this long day of talking, so to hear something without words is kind of nice. <laughs> It's just a beautiful technique, you know, his, his facility is beautiful, but really lovely compositional skills too, because there's a lot of people that do instrumental stuff, but they're really not saying too much, you know, just showing their chops, but uh, he's, got, he's got it all going. Uh, here's the title track to the album, this is PCH. That, that doesn't start with that. <laughs>
always let it ring out. I always need some shades when I'm listening to instrumental. <clears throat> so that's Lawrence Juber. Um, just really a beautiful musician, great guy. And uh, oh, notifications is unbelievable. So I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful weekend. I'm going to Actually, I got about a half hour before I get started on my calls, so I am going to uh, plug in and practice a little Lyle Lovett, um, getting there with it all. I've got to have all these songs pretty well nailed by uh, this coming Wednesday, so still lots of work to do because there's a lot of songs uh, in, in his book, and uh, try to know as many as possible, and, <clears throat> and they're all for memory. So it's it, it just it's playing them over and over. If I start with a chart, it's really hard to let go of a chart. So it's easier for me. That's the way I did Toto and learned their show in five days was just playing it over and over and over and over. Uh, mistakes and all until you finally have got it all dialed in. And that's how I usually approach things. So um, I'm going to wish you all a wonderful weekend. I'll try to slip something in tomorrow. I've got to go to Steve Postel's house. I've got to um, redo the bass part on one of the immediate family tracks because they decided to change the key. And um, I really want to put a new bass part on it rather than using technology to uh, change the key. Um, it'll be easier for me to do that and then... Steve's also producing another artist, so he said he's got some songs for me to put bass on tomorrow. So tomorrow will be that, and then I'll come home and do some more work in the yard and then some Lyle in the evening. And same thing on Monday, finish up some projects, and then Tuesday off and touring for the next 10 weeks. Can't wait, can't wait. It's been a couple of years now waiting to actually get out on a real, real tour, so... So have a great weekend. Uh, there's so much going on. It's, it's just almost impossible to, to address things anymore between the horrors of Ukraine. There's this continued madness over there for what reason other than one man's grotesque ego. I don't know. Watching the, uh, the hearings taking place and realizing what a traitorous administration we had previously to the... Uh, the sitting one, hearing just all the reports and, you know, what the poor um, Capitol Police went through, the, the brutality of it all is unbelievable. And now and here, you know, last weekend I had to go get all my COVID testing done in order to get back to America. And apparently now they dropped that. No more, no more testing required. So who knows what's going to happen with any of this. Uh, I'm going to continue to do what I think is right for me and those around me to stay safe. You know, it's going to be hard enough going out on, on tour, have to go on tour, have to make a living. You know, it's been two years of very little income compared to, you know, what I'm used to paying my bills with. So I, you know, it's, it's important to be getting out there and, and working, but you're going to do it very, you know, cautiously because, you know, it can still shut down a tour. So, you know, you got to be careful about this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to get going here. It's uh, 7.45 now. So a little I love it. And then off to my one-on-ones with all this gang of maniacs that I've become such good friends with. I love it. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.